Welcome back, Beowulf Nation. This is I'm Beowulf. Back at it with the first video for 2023. It's hard to believe it's a new year and uh, let's try some new things. I have posted a lot of this stuff already on my Instagram. I am underscore Beowulf. So if you follow me on there, you've kind of seen kind of what's going on. I've posted a little, little photos or time lapse stuff because some of this stuff takes um, quite a bit of time to uh, print. Now you see here, I'm gonna be making a life-size Terminator T-800. Actually, I uh, messed around with some different PLA filaments too. Let me get all about it. There's just a whole bunch. But uh, basically I got into 3D printing. I, it's something I've wanted to do for a long time. And since I was a little kid, I've always wanted to have a T-800 and to buy one of those s statues are super expensive. Um, you know, upwards of fifteen to twenty thousand dollars. So I'm like, hey, I'm gonna print and make one. And it, it's a lot of work. If you think you're gonna do this, it's a, it's a lot of work. So my first print with my 3D printer is um, this little head, and I miniature, miniaturized it because you know when I first started printing, I didn't know how much filament you used, it, and the printer came with some filament. So I didn't, you know, I didn't know, and I was ordering stuff. So when you're new to something, you don't want to go crazy, but I mean, this is all right. It's kind of cool. I'm going to hold on to this forever, too, uh, just because it's kind of a cool thing to say, hey, this is the first thing I've ever 3D printed. And as you can obviously see, I've excelled on my experience in a very short period of time. I would start printing a whole bunch of stuff. And uh, there's a whole bunch of projects. And then a lot of stuff, too, I'm actually going to be selling. Starting like an Etsy store, possibly selling some stuff or just, you know, Kind of have the social media, so I might do it on there, you know, doing something on Instagram or something where we can do transactions. Anyways, uh, I can't wait to 3D print the full T800, and I plan on building them and selling them. So right now, this is kind of what it looks like when you pull it all out, uh, this different color filament. So this is regular PLA, and then this is a PLA Pro, which uh, has a lot more details to it and a lot different quality with um, the filament and I pretty much from now on out here and out we'll be doing like PLA Pro or PLA Plus on all my prints I really like how that filament prints I mean if you look at this uh, if you look at this this is one that's with um, PLA and here's one with uh, PLA Plus and uh, you can you can really see the lines um, well you can kind of see the lines between the both but I mean, one has a lot more detail to it. I mean, you can see that inner ring than the uh, other print you really don't see. And uh, there's a lot of work with this. You got a primer, you got to paint it. I found a paint that I think this will work. Uh, I have a whole little area that I can do all the um, the painting. And then there's a process. You see this one where it looks kind of orange. And when you pull at the bottom of the um, plate, when you 3D print it, there's all this, I have to sand down and smooth out, and then you gotta use like a, a putty, and that's what that is there, and you gotta let it dry, and you gotta sand it, and I pre-sanded this down as much as I can without wearing out the uh, PLA, and then uh, fill it with putty, then sand it, and then you gotta uh, prime it, and then you get to paint it. So hopefully, uh, I think, to, hopefully I'm gonna start doing all that on, uh, this today so hopefully I can have some stuff and I didn't bring out everything because it's a lot of stuff because see you got all these uh, different teeth this is all gonna go with all these parts here are going with uh, with that all the gray stuff is for the separate one but it's pretty crazy I mean you got all these teeth I'm not sure what I just I don't want to haul them all out uh, for the video and some of these could actually be let's see what shape is I don't want to force anything in. This could actually be teeth from the upper mouth, but they, they fit right in here. I'll probably one of these will fit. My luck is the ones I bring out are not for this. And it's kind of goes like that. I mean, a lot of this, you want to be careful. You got to sand this all down, paint it. I got a, what I think would be a pretty good teeth color. Yeah. I think I grabbed all the ones for the upper part of the mouth. Uh, but you have all that, and then you got all the detail details with um, the CPU. I'm gonna paint this and then it's cool. It goes right down. It actually would go that way down. Then you got this that lines up going in there just like how the director's cut. 
of Terminator 2 was. Then you got this cap. So it gives you that, like, really. Look at the details of this stuff. So you have, like, this would be the eyeball that goes in there. Then I have a whole uh, LED light. So I'm going to hook up where this lights up. And then this is just supports in there that um, you kind of kind of have to have it because of how it shaped this whole thing for the CPU is. And I had to rip those all out right after the print. And then uh, you got to set up all this stuff. And then these are this like the side pieces. You got to sand those all down. So they, they well, this one actually goes. So you got to still, I got to still sand down there and starting to fit up in there. And I think I'm going to do stuff. I'm not sure I'm going to hook up the whole light. So I got like, you can see these little ho holes right in there. Uh, I have little magnets that I might use. I'm not sure. I'm kind of figuring this all out how I have to want to do this. It's all kind of new to me. And then I've done some sanding and then you got to do um, some putty at the bottom of this. If you want to just smooth it out, make it like really nice. And there's, there's a lot of details. I mean, it's really hard to see here, but there's just a lot of details. So, uh, I think this one I'm just going to print is just a full head and just have this as something to just have sitting on my, uh, my desk or something. And, uh, then I'm going to build a whole, everything else. I have the whole feet printed. I don't want to bring them out cause it's kind of just, it's all in bags organized. I don't want to mix it all up, but I have everything to print the feet. So basically what I've started doing is I did the head. And I don't want to go down. I want to start from the feet up to get an idea. And I have to build a whole platform that it stands on. And uh, I don't want to make it go in the opposite direction. would make zero sense with doing that. So, um, and then you can kind of see here, this is what the, the lower jaw is. It's actually still, um, it hasn't dried. So that's why I have it. See, I just did this right before the video and I got to sand it down. But that gives you idea you can see the difference between uh regular pla and then pla pro on the right with what that looks like so this is kind of i've been wanting to make a video showing this i printed this like probably a couple of weeks ago and it's you know moving to other projects there's a whole bunch of stuff i've been 3d printing but look at the details of this it's just so cool I like to have something too where this could have like a backpack and then like somehow the head, like a spine part, like hooks onto the backpack. So you walk around and it looks like you like have the Terminator with you. Uh, but it's like, like you took it along. Uh, I think that would look kind of cool. Especially you go to Universal Studios and stuff. Uh, Terminator 2 uh, 3D ride was probably one of my favorite. I remember going there and 2018 not knowing it was uh ended and i was so disappointed to see that there was the time there was nothing there and then they got the born the born uh identity thing they got there is really cool but definitely missed the terminator was i remember being there uh, when i was a kid like i think a couple days right after it opened and uh i think it was a day or two right at when it opened i remember how cool that was that i was like so impressed of what they were doing but this is kind of what i've been up to and uh, there's a whole, I got like this life size uh, G.I. Joe laser rifle that I actually have printing right now. And I got to have to paint that. And I got some like uh, G.I. Joe classified vehicles that I'm printing right now. Uh, and then I got like regular old school G.I. Joe. Some are actually in classified size. And then the old school uh, three, uh, four inch uh, G.I. Joes. And uh, I have like a Ghostbusters uh, cell phone trap. It's a ghost holds like your phone or like your Xbox controller, your PlayStation controller. So like I'm going to, that's after what I'm printing this rest of this uh, laser rifle uh, that I printed a whole bunch of those and then uh, getting those all ready and the ghost clothes in the dark. And it, this is just a lot of fun. There's so many stuff to make that I have right now that it's like, I have to have a game plan now instead of just jump. I've been, what I've been doing is like printing one thing and then jumping to some other project. Like I'm trying to do a bunch of stuff at once. And uh, I got another 3D printer on the way. Uh, so there's a lot more stuff can be made a lot quicker with this. But I want to share what I'm up to. I think this is like something I've wanted this my whole entire life. And and now I got and see some of the stuff is still coming out because I've been like trying to get get. I like to get all of it out, but I think that's enough because my main thing was to get to where the access to the eyes because that was all filled in. 
in there before and I yanked all that out. And this thing took uh, took a while. This I think this took almost a day. I think it took over a day. Take it back. I think this took 24 hours to print. Um, and then I had this um, rear receiver, this uh, G.I. Joe laser rifle. It's a 23-hour print. And I think right now we're halfway through where it's at being printed. So I'm doing a whole time-lapse video with that. But I figured to share this stuff. I think it's really cool. This is the eye. Some of the teeth. It's pretty pretty wild. And I, I got to sand those down and primer them. I'm hoping to paint this stuff. Hoping to paint the teeth tomorrow. That's what my goal is. I think I'm going to start painting something. Something's going to get painted. I want to start seeing more of a process than having it. But you got to be patient and not just rush to something. Because it's hard to go back once you start painting. But I want to share what I'm up to. And I'll share too once the Etsy store is figured out what I want to call it. And what I want to do um, with that. But I'm going to share this. This is just so cool. So wild. I actually can show you. I just quickly slipped that in. And that's um, what it kind of looks like with the head assembled. Uh, you can't move the jaw. There's like a bolt that goes in there that locks in place. But it's it's kind of silly seeing it without teeth. Uh, but it also shows actually how big this is. This would be, if this was real coming at you, uh, yeah, you definitely want to get out of that that area. This is a really big robot head. Pretty crazy. This is surreal. I tell you every day when I see this, it's surreal that I have this. I, if if I could have told my younger self that later in the future I was going to be making a Terminator T800, I would not believe it. I would say that is so not true. And uh, it's crazy with what technology has now and what you can make and then putting the time into stuff. It's definitely really cool. I have a lot of other stuff, life-size stuff I want to build. And then also, too, I want to work on building um, an Iron Man suit. Uh, there's files to get a Punisher Iron Man suit. And I think that's the first one I want to do with uh, building. But if you're new to the channel and you've never heard of me, I'm Beowulf. And uh, this is one of my big process of building stuff. And I think it'd be cool showing people uh, what you can make with a 3D printer. And if people want to buy stuff that I make, everything... Everything is always for sale. <laughs> My dogs aren't for sale. But almost everything I make or own, I've always, if the price is right, it's, there's no sentimental stuff on holding on to stuff. Also, too, check out the Amazon store, amazon.com slash shop slash I am Beowulf. And then there's the I am Beowulf merch at cryptobeowulf.com. And check out all the cool merch. They got a bunch of NFT merch and some other stuff. And, uh... Definitely, I think there has to be some type of Terminator merch that I make. Something with what I print and make has to be put on a t-shirt. Definitely. It's going to be so surreal when this thing has the glowing eyes. Be driven to win. Stay mighty. And keep strong.